What is going on guys? Welcome to my new FIFA 18 career mode series with Roma. Before we get into it guys, shout out to Wavy Designs for another thumbnail who do thumbnails for this series. Uh, so make sure you check his Twitter out. He does that graphics work. So yeah, shout out to him for sure. And guys, if you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd greatly appreciate that. If we could smash 500 likes for this series debut. That will be amazing. So, we are going to get back into some more regular FIFA. Like, since the new year has hit, I haven't really played FIFA so much. You probably see with my uploads, but I feel like I've needed that break from FIFA to get into a brand new series. You know I was doing a Manchester United Youth one, but again, another one I stopped playing. I thought, let's do something different. And I wasn't planning this until I got a comment. I got a comment saying, try to do a career mode with Roma, and it just sparked me. Oh, Roma sounds like a fun team. I haven't done a career mode with them, I don't think, ever in my history of playing FIFA. So, yeah, I just thought, oh, yeah, they could be a fun team to play with, essentially. Good time uh, in the year for that, if I can find them as a fun team to be. So, yeah, most definitely... This will be a good series up until FIFA 19. I want to do this regularly. So the hype for FIFA 19, especially Champions League. Pe if you guys that didn't see it, Pez has lost the Champions League rights. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if like FIFA put a bid in or something like that. So yeah, that makes me a bit more hype for FIFA 19 at least. <laughs> yeah, there'll be the rights for the Champions League. I hope anyway uh, that FIFA... Yeah, would EA Sports would have bought it. So get excited for that. I'm definitely looking forward to. So I want to, yeah, make a good series. Uh, so we're just going to go through this part here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I want to make a good series up until FIFA 19. So hopefully this will be it and you guys will enjoy it. Guys, I was wondering as well, which manager do you always like to go with for a new career mode? Is there one you always go for? Or do you like to just choose a different one each time? I prefer this guy. Like He's probably the youngest looking. It's either him or him. <laughs> I'm just like him. They don't have names. But yeah, it's either him. There's like Arsene Wenger there, Morgan Freeman, all these other types. So yeah, <laughs> I just normally go with this uh, younger guy. He looks all right. Not that he looks like me, just he looks <laughs> like one of the youngest. So yeah, we're going to roll with him. And guys, just as a little feature... And because this will be the first episode, like, more of you guys will see it. What do you think about the different managers you can choose there have different attributes? Like, what they're good at as a manager. Maybe they're good at their transfer. So, that could help you buy players cheaper than normal. Not so cheap, but, yeah. And then others may be better at tactics, might perform better. And just all different aspects, negotiating contracts, just so many things. And yeah, each manager will be different. And those things also you can improve in the career mode. That's just a little idea. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. If the different managers had different attributes. So there could be a reason apart from just what they look like to choose them. So yeah, we play on legendary five minutes. Uh, leave the currency sterling because a lot of you guys would relate with that. The pounds. Uh, if I played by myself, I'd just do dollars <laughs> being from Australia. But anyway, uh, obviously the stadium being Stadio Olimpico, I really like that stadium in FIFA as well. Uh, looks very good. So I am excited to play on that. That's for sure. And we'll download the latest squad. So you know that for sure. Uh, we have the latest squads and also European competition. Obviously add Roma in the Champions League. Obviously they have a big match coming against Liverpool but yeah we're not going to really make any changes because like to make the re it's not possible to make the real groups as they were in real life as there's a few missing teams like those lower types uh, like those lower ranked teams that are not even in the game from certain countries so yeah we just draw what we get let me know what you do as well do you like to make it realistic or you just yeah random draw to make it a bit different but yeah either way uh what do you think about the match coming up against Liverpool? Who do you think is going to advance uh, to the next stage? Roma v Liverpool. Obviously, a lot of you guys watching because Roma. Uh, so, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of votes or just suggestions that they will advance. And I'll probably want them too because I'm being Roma now. And guys, like this is... I feel like a lot of videos I make with FIFA now, even in a series, I like mention things that EA should improve or take out of the game. Like, I feel... This news there, interactive transfer negotiations. Mate, we're in April. We know the features and we know transfers that were made in real life for the start of this season. That's almost ending right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, come on, mate. Like, we don't need that. They're not surprises. They're like, oh, okay. Oh, Matic signed for Man United. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for the update. 
and here's the preseason invites. You know, for the preseason, we just simulate. Uh, it's something you want to try, like at the start of a new FIFA game for your first career, and then yeah, you kind of just simulate it for the rest of the career mode series uh, that you do, or for you guys, just that you play. Maybe you want to play them. I don't know, but it's good just to get into the season. People like to see that. So here again, it's more of the same. There's not much to take in. We know, yeah, we know what's the deal. Shirt sales. They got. We'll we'll look at those kind of expectations. But generally, the first scout reports, a lot of them are not really signings you end up going for. But yeah, I'm going to try and scout myself. So in this episode, I'm not going to sign players. I don't like like how I've been lately in my series. I don't like... Oh, does anyone remember Jerry Mbakogu? Like a few seasons ago or a few years ago in career mode, he was like a big signing because he was like pacey. And yet he's still got the same pace. So maybe. <laughs> uh, but pace was more a fact back then uh, than it is now. Uh, but and maybe someone like a Baradi, he, he's a good player. So if you just click on him there, he's someone I think that's worthy to put on the short list. But we've got to analyze, yeah, uh, the best team. Uh, this guy just makes me feel hungry by his last name. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I want suggestions from you guys. I don't want to start a career mode. And like, I know some people do that. And maybe uh, that's a good thing. But I don't like, oh, suddenly I have all these signings made right away. I want you guys to be part of the signings process. We'll see. But we'll check out the team. Uh, but first, we are going to take a look at the office and what is expected of us. The board expectations uh, we will take a look at now. So first, youth development. It says it's low, but there's still something there for us to do. It says, grow one youth academy player or players by at least five overall points. Uh, overall points. Yeah, that's a pretty simple one there. As soon as they've grown, play them in five matches. But again, it's only low priority, but it's something fun to do if you like with youth players there's something to achieve there it won't affect your job or anything like that so what's that gain uh, just over 79 million i think you can do that without signings that's what i've noticed with big teams and we've got you see it will in FIFA 19, it's going to say Champions League. Not, I'm like, oh, I, I, for recording, like now, I always hate saying Champions Cup. I don't even, I just say Champions League. I ignore that it says Cup. <laughs> so reach quarterfinal, think that's doable. Uh, and then we've got the Cup there. We got to reach the semi final. And then in the league, to finish in a Champions League place. See, I'm just, I, I say Champions League now. Within two seasons to win the league. So it's not expect. It's not an expectation on us to win in the first season, but there's no kind of... <laughs> is that, that, there's not a finish for this season, what we're expected, I suppose, apart from top four. that like To win the title in the first season, that's what I mean. If we don't do that, that's all good. Uh, we've got to do it within two seasons, so, and we'll see if we can do that. Ooh! Yeah, like, I haven't seen this one yet. Maybe you guys have, if you start a lot of career modes, but... Some people might think I started a lot. <laughs> Reduce player wages by 66,000. Uh, so, okay. That's a different one. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not sure if we could do that if we sign more players. But as you can see, transfer budget, what, around 57 million. That's all right. But I still, I might go with one youth. Yeah, but not yet. One youth scout I'll go with. I don't want to be too heavy with that. Uh, but yeah, I need the five-star judgment for sure. And we'll check out the squad. This is where we're going to see, like, I like a 4-3-3 holding. I'm happy with that, not changing uh, too much. Obviously, there's going to be uh, crucial players in the team. Ed and Dzeko, really strong striker. I've always liked Al Sharari, but he hasn't really stepped to that next level as maybe his potential suggestion suggested when he was a younger player. Like now 24, he's, you don't put him as a younger player under that bracket, but he can play both wings, but only a two-star weak foot. Make sure you're using his right. That five-star skill moves though. Regardless, oh, he's 81 overall, but he's still good, got the good attributes. He's good ball control, uh, good dribbling. Finishing is not too bad, so uh, I don't know. It brings his rating down. I feel he kind of looks maybe like an 82 or 83 rated player with that. Uh, the five-star skills helps. And in midfield, the team looks very strong. Got Nangolan, he is a really exciting player. Uh, not a young player exactly, but a guy that's really, really strong. Take a look at those mentals and physicals and then skill attributes. He's just a fun player to use because of that. Normally you think, oh, like wingers that are skillful, like I was talking about Al Sharari, but 
Nangolan is just so strong in midfield. It's more that he's reliable. And then you've got Strootman, and we'll take a look at his attributes. He's more that defensive type with that high defensive work rate. Strong, strong attributes to tackle. He's got good shooting as well. Like shot power, pretty good. Then De Rossi, how old is he now? He's 33, another defensive type. That's what I mean about their center mids. It's, they're very defensive, like strong defensively, but it's not like the lineup is overly defensive. You're just in midfield, they're very, very strong. And that's wonderful because when the opposition, yeah, they're attacking you or if they're on a counter, you've got those guys then they're not going to let them pass so easy. Florenzi is a good player as well, 26 years old, multiple positions, Manalas, see, this is why I wanted to go with Roma, they have a lot of those strong, like, strong players, then you've got uh, Fazio, what's, what's his strength, his strength is 90, in that center, the center of the pitch, there's players that are, are beasts, they're beasts, and then, like, even up top, it's a very tall and strong team that's what i really like about them they're going to be hard to beat we're not going to be like getting dominated in a lot of games i'd hope unless i do terrible and then well allison 24 is young enough for a keeper especially so i'm pretty happy yeah with the keeper and then we got a backup 76 so we do 76 rated we just leave him and this guy is one of the brightest talents in the team. Uh, he's a right winger. Could play on the left side as well. Four-star skill moves. Four-star we for only 19, 76 overall. I'm sure, like, probably a lot of you guys are clicking on this video <laughs> because you want to see how his career is going to progress. And he's definitely going to be more than a reserve player. I think one of the strikers, Defrel, maybe, as a, he's 26 and he's injury-prone. Uh, Schick, I think, will be... Look at his traits, though! Look at those traits. Finesse shot, flair, technical dribbler, and backs into player. I feel like he'll be similar. And he's got four-star skill moves as well. He's got a very good attributes that can, I suppose, develop well together. Uh, if you go to his strength, 71 is not amazing. Sprint speed, 77. Doesn't make him so quick. Agility is not bad. Uh, but because he's only 21, he's going to grow. Could even play on the right wing. And then Gerson, four-star skill. So we've got a lot of skill. See, you can tell already, like, without going through the players, because obviously I have some knowledge of the team in real life, I know I knew they were going to be a fun team to use, but also very strong with that midfield, and I knew their centre-backs as well, their defence. So, yeah, Roma, maybe a suggestion to you guys. Maybe you want to start a career mode at the same time. Some people just normally do that, but if you want a fun one to play. And even, see, the reserve players. You've got Gonalons there as well. He is a good defensive midfielder for if you've if not to be in the first team, but full backup there. Because I remember when he was at uh, Leon, I did a career mode with them uh, once, and yeah, I just remember him. But if we go through the rest, there's Silva. He's 23, 73 overall. Not terrible attributes, but you know that of course Kolarov. See Kolarov again. He's 31, but he's got a lot. <laughs> Look at his specialities and traits. Just look at Kolarov's attributes as well. So it's going to make him hard to get into the team. But we may need... If we don't sign in another left back, yeah, he's going to be one that's going to come in as he gets older. And then we've got a few of these lower guys that probably, yeah, they won't develop to be that great. We've got Antonucci, potentially. He's an 18-year-old. Uh, we're going to have to see, yeah, just their progression and everything like that. Uh, I feel one of the goalkeepers, we could actually... This guy, like, mate, you're 39. It's time to retire. He's 68 overall. Not really needed. So, I feel he's one we can just let go of. Look, uh, try and sell, at least. Uh, we've got Karsdorp as 22. So, we could improve a little bit more. Young enough. So, yeah, that's the initial team. That's what I wanted to do, guys, in this first episode. I wanted to introduce the team, obviously. See the expectations. Give an introduction episode. So, you guys can leave your suggestions in the comments. Players for me to sell, or at least put on the transfer list, see if we get any offers. And then, yeah, players to sign, and we will go through the preseason trying to sign them. And the, we'll simulate these games, and the following episode we'll probably get into the league. Just really depends. But, yeah, next episode will be uh, strongly focused on transfers. You guys will play a part in that for sure. Leave your suggestions. Like, if one player gets a lot of thumbs up, I'll try and make a move for him, and don't forget the budget as well, it was around 57 mil, and that wage budget as well, obviously it can still be negotiated, can change it, but yeah, like like I said, I'm really happy with this team, uh, next episode I'll get out as soon as possible, if you guys can smash 500 likes, do that, and I'm going to record the next episode as soon as I get it up, so I can see your comments, so make sure you leave a comment uh, for a signing you'd like to see, or a play you'd like to be sold if you don't think he's good enough, but 
uh, make sure you leave that thumbs up and if you're new make sure you subscribe to notifications as well to make sure you see my videos and i'll see you guys next time